Hi guys, welcome back to this 2300 Gaming again with another King of Fighters All-Star content. So, as you can see in my previous stream, uh, I played with Amet, one of the top players in EU. It was quite difficult, but like, at least I won one match, which is really, really sad. Uh, I was really satisfied with one match, like, even though I've lost a lot. But the thing's like, you learn, you learn stuff. So, if you win one, it's really a good feeling, you know. So, shoutouts to you, Amet. Keep being strong, keep being uh, uh, epic and legendary. Um, I hope to meet you again in championship and i hope i can win one and just don't go easy on me okay because i want uh, people to destroy me if they're really really good so that i can learn stuff if you go easy on me like i'm not going to be learning anything so that's just my that's just me because like i just wanted to be uh learn it the hard way as they say because i'm an old cool, uh, old school type of guy so in this video we're going to be talking about because it's just like an emergency quote unquote emergency video i was I made a video uh, previously uh, with regards to the they should have brought in um, content first before this SS uh, Iori and Kyo coming in next week because the thing is like from BS Chrysalid going back to other characters uh, previously we can almost clear all of the content so we're happy clearing all of the content with BS Chrysalid and some the DS the 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 BS the SS Mice Athena's and the 7 DS and uh, seven deadly night, uh, le seven deadly sins, and seven nights. I'm mixing the sevens together, so they can almost we can we can clear all of the content with what unit that Net Marble has released. So again, releasing SS Eori and SSQ leaves a little bit of a space, li leaves a little uh, bit to be desired because the thing is like, what's the point of them coming in? Like just players, just for PVP. Because like some of the like almost like there's a lot of people in the player base are PVE centered so they're they're thinking that putting in ss eori and ssq doesn't really make sense because like there's no content that because we already cleared everything right so them coming into the game what's the point it's just for pvp it's not both of the uh, best of both worlds so i think this is the answer of net marble cm yuri still grinding it on a saturday they're gonna be releasing a new content happening tomorrow Okay, we're we gonna be diving in on that topic when the update comes. Okay, right now I'm just informing you guys that there's gonna be a new content coming into the game. It's a new advent dungeon and we're gonna go to the forums. Oh, this one is just gonna be a quick video. Uh, it's an emergency video. So I think this is quite a good move on their part putting in new content before the SS comes in because maybe we can't clear this content unless we pull for the SS so that that might entice the players to pull even though they don't have rubies I don't know how I will be pulling it I'm not quite sure so epic advent dungeon false ordeal Saishu opening notice okay so that's gonna be what's been happening what's gonna be happening tomorrow okay this is CM Yuri the new false ordeal Saishu epic Advent dungeon is open following the Chizuru and the Mecha Gonit. So there's going to be three Advent dungeons because initially there's only two, the Chizuru and the Gonit's uh, Advent dungeon. Now it's going to be False Ordeal Saishu. It's going to be open on the 23rd upon further notice. Uh, you're going to be seeing that in the Epic Advent dungeon when it's opened in the order of Saishu. So uh, Saishu first, Chizuru, and then Mecha Gonit's on third. So go to Lobby Dungeon, Advent Dungeon, and False Ordeal. It's not here yet. So the recommended combat power of this event is severe, relatively high. Looks like it's gonna be a hard advent dungeon. But like a hard dungeon, it's for me it's a welcome addition because like for mid games veterans, like a good hard uh, content would be really really good in this game. That's just me because like working hard for for clearing something really feels good. You know the feeling of achievement is there. Okay, so workshop info. And the thing is, like, when you're playing Chizuru and Gonitz, you get, like, uh, crystals, right? When you get crystals, you can exchange that with set cards. Now we have a new set card, the Saishu set card. I'm going to be showing you the picture of that. So, uh, using epic crystals obtained from playing the dungeon to craft battle cards item in the lobby. So, you can craft uh, the Saishu card. Original Flame Type 1, Original Flame Type 2, and Original Flame Type 3. We, I haven't heard, like, uh, what's the description of that we'll be seeing the description tomorrow okay i'm gonna be making a video um going into the gameplay and we're gonna go head first without any <laughs> without any reviews or whatsoever we're, we'll see if it's really really hard and let's see the craftable uh, descriptions there um other than that that's it
So, you can only craft it three times. Same as like uh, the Mr. Big set and the Ignis set. So, yeah. So, what's the comments? Finally, this is great news. So, see, people are a little bit quiet, popular, and getting boring day by day. Okay. So, looks okay. Like, I think people are welcoming this new content because like it's been uh, long. It's been long awaiting for this. So, hopefully, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. There's going to be more reviews coming in with regards to what's going to be happening in this one. So hopefully, I'm not sure, hopefully it's in the middle. Not too hard, not too easy. So just right, but we'll see. Again, this is 2300 Gaming, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the update of this one.